This is a video response, an anti-hate response to the video entitled Destiny, The Little Promise Left. And I'm addressing in this video specifically the point brought up towards the end of the video, the question of who labels who abusers, who labels who enemies. And the context of that question being questioning the validity of someone in Destiny who participates with Destiny questioning the validity of them labeling someone else as an abuser. One point I see within that is it doesn't matter whether someone is labeled an abuser. The point is that person within their own participation, whether it's within their daily life or towards destiny or towards anything, what's the starting point of their participation? What's the starting point of their life? What's the starting point of when they speak or write? What is their starting point? It's very easy to identify within the words of someone what their starting point is. You simply place yourself as that person writing those words. And it's very easy to see this is where I was coming from when I wrote these words. And so the point there is not that Destiny is labeling people as abusers. Because really that is projecting and blaming Destiny. For, and not taking responsibility for oneself and one's participation and one's words. Meaning, if you find yourself labeled as an abuser, simply evaluate your own starting point. Because if your starting point is clear, then it's really irrelevant what you're labeled. Because your starting point, you will do what's best for all, if that's your starting point. If that's not your starting point, then you are, by definition, an abuser, because that is what destiny defines abuse as, which is to deliberately not do what is best for all, or to even um, indirectly not do what is best for all, because you still have to take responsibility for yourself. You can't claim ignorance. If you abuse, whether, through its, whether it's through direct or indirect consequence, you're an abuser. And it's not a point of blame, it's simply recognition that if someone is participating with destiny and speaking with destiny and writing comments and engaging destiny or destiny members we're going to spend our time working with those whose starting point is to actually change and to actually support what's best for all the point is not to create enemies the point is not to create labels the point is to identify those who stand up for life and you stand up for what's best for all and to support those because their words will be clear and their words will be direct and they will support what's best for all. Those whose starting point is not clear and those who have a hidden agenda, I have no interest in supporting those people because they are not supporting me. They're not supporting themselves. They're either advertently or inadvertently harming me and themselves and everything in existence. That's not the type of person that I would like to, for example, uh, participate with in heaven. And I think this earth could be heaven if everyone was doing what's best for all. So, the point here is, the abuser is the person who is not interested in actually participating in destiny, with destiny, and living as the principles that destiny lives and expresses. That's what it means to be an abuser. Because the principles of destiny will never change. The principles of destiny are what make destiny destiny. The principles of destiny are what make me a member of destiny. Because I live those principles and I strive and I change myself to live only those principles. So the very fact that you would in this video, for example, say that destiny should give up everything it stands for to not, to, to prove somehow that it stands for what it stands for, it's obviously a contradiction in terms, but it's also attempting to exploit a weakness, that uh, either a perceived weakness or 
any kind of weakness, which is trying to get someone to give up on what they stand for, which is abuse in itself. So it's very easy to see within this video that this is a response to, that that person's words are abusive, because their starting point is to, is to manipulate through words someone else who's listening to that video to not do what's best for all, to simply give it up, to divert them from what really matters.